right, today I am going to start with marks, but instead of them being a scribble, I'm going to actually make some deliberate marks in each one. Um, I've really been enjoying coming up with different ways to do these grids, but I find it real interesting that when I go to do a painting on like a canvas or a regular piece of paper, I'm tending to re revert back to my original style of painting, which is more of a, just a put a background on and then draw and then paint. And I'm really trying to um, incorporate what I'm doing in these grid journals into my regular painting. And so far, it's not working. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep grid journaling and try to incorporate that and think about it. So I'm just starting with some shapes this time. And now I'm going to take my Stabilo and just make some different shapes on top. Not really thinking too much about this. Um, just trying to get some different marks in here. And then I'm going to, uh, so I've used graphite, I've used Stabilo. I'm going to go ahead and activate all of this with my matte medium as usual. This is what I've been doing. I love starting this way because it just activates your page. It puts marks on there. It's so random. It doesn't really matter what you draw on top of it. Uh, you could do a pot of flowers, you know, figures, animals, but because you can um, wipe some of this out, you know, with whites is, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to build this up and then we're going to veil it out with some white. So like I said, I'm going to start with some shapes and then I'm going to take, I've got some different um, mark making tools I've gathered up. This is a scraper that I had. This is just a piece of bamboo that I found down at the lake when we were walking. I've got a brayer this week um, and a foam brush. So just some different mark makers, uh, different ways to apply paint. And um, I'm also going to be using a skewer. This is just a, out of a pack that I had. So just some different ways. And I think I'll start with that and just kind of scrape over what I've got. It might move a little bit of the paint. And then I'm going to take my foam brush, get a little bit of black on it. I have no idea what this is going to do, but we're just going to we're just going to add some to each one. So I like that mark. All right, that's interesting. I hadn't done that before. Um, let's take the bamboo and dip it into some white and just swirl that around here. That'll, that'll break up some of those marks. And like I said, I'm just playing with marks right now. So that's an interesting start. Okay. I think what I'll do now is I'm going to get a piece of paper towel and because everything's so wet and just uh, this is one way to dry it. I don't like to use my um, hair dryer because it's just too loud for the video. Alrighty, I 
think what I'm going to do now is take my brayer and I'm going to put a little bit of gesso on my brayer and then I'm just going to brayer it on top. That'll, that'll just knock it back a little bit. It'll sort of veil it a little bit, knock some of that back. Oh, that one veiled a lot. All right, so that's an interesting start. Let's see here now. I'm going to... I'm going to work with uh, orange and pink this week. This is just a craft. Like I said before, I like using up my craft paints in this. And I'm just going to add some pink marks to each one. Different. Just trying to make each one different. And uh, then I'll add a little bit of orange. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing, um, trying to keep this video to 30 minutes and just playing with these colors. All right, that's interesting. I think I'll add some yellow green. I've got some yellow green here. It'll be pretty. Uh, oh, this is that Waverly, uh, I think it's called Scallion. Yeah, it's that Waverly Scallion that's so pretty. And it's sort of a yellowy on the green side. That'll be pretty with these colors. Again, I'm just kind of intuitively just looking at what I've got and just throwing some on each one. Okay, I like that. I always like some teal. I I think people either love teal or not. I like mixing it with some white and putting in a little bit of this here and there. That's a pretty color. This is my colors are very uh, Easter egg, but some of them will get knocked back. And right now I'm just layering up color. I thought I was going to stay with pinks and oranges, but then I grabbed some greens and teals. So I think that's really pretty. So we can take our bamboo, just kind of run it around, see what that does. Does it move any of the paint? Does it? Okay. All right. Um, I think what I'll do now is I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm going to just add some whites in here, just here and there. I love whites in a painting, um, quiet areas, just, I don't know, I'm just uh, picking a few spots and just throwing in the white. Alrighty, and I will take my paper towel 
again and just touch these. All right, so I've got quite a bit of layering going on at each one. I like them. Um, and this week, I think I'm going to draw figures again. But these are going to be... Um, I enjoy... Uh, this is just kind of a page of different figures, but I enjoy these, um, the women holding the pots on their heads. So let's just plop them in and see what we get. Um, I usually uh, look at about halfway and I have to do these much smaller, but I'll just put in like A little face, a pot. These are very quick, and I I can work on them a little bit once I get them a little further along. But right now I'm just throwing them in. Okay, so there's one. Let's see. We got to do these quick. Very quickly, I'm going to put a little landscape line in. Uh, let's put two in this one. These are similar to the angels, but like I said, I enjoy the these uh, Just do, do different ones. You could do fairies. You could do, um, I just love doing figures. Okay, we'll do one on this side. And it's interesting when you do it so abstract, you don't know what's going to show up. Let's do three in this one. Two, three. Very quickly, put the little faces in. I love how these turn out, but again, like I said, I'll go to paint one on canvas and I don't end up starting like this. And I, I really need to make sure that I do because these are much more interesting than if I just draw and paint. Okay, so we got those in really quickly. I've got one with two, one with three, several with one. I have no idea how they're going to turn out, but we're going to take our matte medium. And again, we're just going to, we're going to touch and we can, uh, we can work on them a little bit more once we get a little further away, but I mean, a little further along. So let's just touch the Stabilo. It sets, the matte medium sets it and it darkens it. And we can use it for a little bit of shadowing. You could use ink tints too. I have ink tints pencils and I have ink tints blocks. I love those they're similar to the Stabilo. Um, they get the really intense color and they're permanent. The Stabilo actually moves around, but that's why I use the matte medium. But you can see how quickly I'm putting these in here, and then hopefully when we carve around them, um, you'll be able to see them better. Right now you can see them, but they they kind of blending in. And I did want to put a, let's see, I put a line in that one. Let's do this one up a little further. Let's do this one down low. I'll do this one up high. Um, I'll do this one right here. And I like that green right there, so I'll do that one there. Okay, so we've given them each a little horizon line. And now we're just going to start carving around them and then we will um, 
see what the ladies need. So, this one right here, oh, look at her dress, isn't that pretty? It just, it's just random in there, but I think I'm gonna uh, take the teal that we used, mix a little bit of our green with it and some white and make kind of a pretty teal and let's just carve around her. It wipes out everything else that we've done. I mean, we could leave like that shape right there. Let's just leave that in and see what that looks like. It looks like a rock or something. Um, we could leave this orange. Might look like, leave one of those orange circles. It might look like a little bit of a sunset. And see, that other one shows up a little bit. I might end up knocking that all the way out, or I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm going to darken her arm right there. And just go right around the pot. Right around her arms. With this teal, I'll go right in here. Yeah, I could leave some of that pink, but I'm, I'm gonna knock that. This is the first um, layer of the background, but look at her dress, isn't that pretty? And this is, um, that does look like a rock. We could take some white and knock this line out. Just make it more of a, I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's just a cool shape. Um, just put it like that so you can see you can see her popping out a little bit I think I will take I'm now using the same colors that I've used I'm just kind of doing a mix of them but I'm going to take that scallion green I think a little bit of another color got into it but we're just gonna throw some down here yeah so she's She's really cool. I love her dress. I like I left the sun, a little bit of a rock. I could uh, put a like a bottom on that. And um, we could take a little bit of white and just touch it into her face right there. And, you know, we could always work on her hair and everything, but, but I like her. I think she's cute. Um, you know, there's a lot more I could do. I could keep working on her. I could throw some pink right here but I like the uh, I like just the ram randomness of what we got in the dress just like that and you can see okay so let's do this one um let's see here her dress is not as colorful we've got some of this these outside marks we could actually keep make that a little bit rounder and keep that shape Let's take some of the orange. I'm gonna mix some of the orange with the white and orange across from orange is blue. So I'm gonna to tone it down with a little of a teal. Hmm, okay, let's just try it. This is more of a neutral color. I'm gonna just throw it in. Let's see, I made the horizon right to there. I don't know, I'm just, each one, I have to make quick decisions and um, just see how they turn out. But we'll just carve right around. I'm gonna leave, like I said, I'm, and and I'm gonna leave that as kind of a maybe a moon type shape. Like that, I could take um, a little bit of black and just, I can see like she, her hair right there. Let's just touch into that. Not trying to do too much, just here and there. You can always um, you know, touch that part of their arm or just whatever they need. You don't want to do too much because they're very just organic and random as they are. And um, 
I might put a little bit of a bolder orange, just adding a little bit, one more layer of this orange, not so toned down. Each time I add a layer, it knocks a little bit more out of, I can just touch right around her. If I touch into that black, it, see it change its shape a little bit. I love that when I do that. And again, I think I'll take that scallion green and throw it down here. Might leave a little bit of that pink showing. Okay. like her. All right. Um, you know, I could do more to her dress. I could, um, it's got some lines in it. I could add just a few more here. Like that. And then I don't mind the lines showing uh, in the back too, just a little bit, but see how I just added a few more lines to her dress. So that looks cool. Oh, I like her. Again, I could keep going and add, um, it's just for the fun of it, add some of the pink back here. One thing you can do is once you get um, like that looks, you got the orange. I could add blue and just keep a little bit of that orange at the bottom. And that almost looks like a kind of a mountain range back there. But you can just play with your composition. Just keep, you know, you can just keep changing it. So I'm going to, I have another green that's a little bit more opaque. This is just a craft paint. It's um, Hauser Green Light by Americana. I think I'm gonna just throw that down there and just knock that line. Like I said, this paint's a little more opaque. So it'll knock the lines back just a little bit and make her dress stand out. So I can let her dry and then I can add even a brighter blue back there. That might be pretty with the green, the orange, and then a brighter blue and make her stand out. And I think right now I'll take a white and just barely touch into her face there. All right, I like her, I like the moon, I like all of that. So let's do this one. Oh, I like that pink back there. Let's go with pink. Using the same colors, but I'm just kind of toning them down a little bit or just mixing. Um, this one, I mix the pink and the white and added a little bit of green just to, I like that white back there and I like the pink. Might just add a little bit of pink. I like that orange. It almost looks like a sun right there. Just add some of that real. Like I said, I just take each one and just. This one I'm just going to um, barely touch. And I think I'm going to leave that white back there. I don't know why. I just put some pink here. I'll leave some orange right there showing through. Ooh, that's pretty. I like these blue stripes. Let's see here. Yeah, I like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do too much to that one. I like the blue. Let's see here. I could change the color of the dress, leave those blue stripes. Or I can um, just, I know what I'll do. I'll just take the teal. I 
just going to carry the stripes on like that. And then I think I'll take a lighter blue and just knock them out of the dress so that uh, it looks like the lines are just going behind. So. And I like the white in the sky, like I said. I'm just going to touch that to kind of carve out the basket and maybe right there. There's Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of got stripes, pink, white. I could do a lot more to the the girls, but for right now, I'm just gonna maybe just uh, get some white. Put a face in like that. I could, you know, I could work on their arms a little bit here. Touch right around their hair. Oh, but I think they're pretty. I like that one. I like them. Beautiful. I think I'll take some brighter blue and throw in this one really quickly. Just touch here and there. I can keep brightening that up. All right. Um, let's see this one. I think I will just take white and knock out some of this. I've got pink on my brush, so um, it's kind of a light pink. And if I carve right around her like this. Yeah, you can see her pop out. I'll put a little face in. I like that. I actually like her. Um, I'm going to quickly just add some of the green. Add some of the... I like that blue right there. I'll just add some on this side. And then I can always do... A little bit of the more solid green right down here. It's pretty. Yeah. Just scrape into it. And then hit it again. Scrape it. Hit it again. Alright, I like her. Again, I could um, definitely do a lot more to her. But I think I'll just touch right here around her. I'm just kind of letting the um, letting what I've already done dictate what's there. And uh, but you can see I could keep working on her, but I I like her landscape. I like her shape, and uh, yeah, I could work on the arms a little bit more. Just touching here and there. All right, these girls, I'm gonna. Again, probably just do the same thing. I'll put some green down here to just carve them out. See what we've got with going on with their dresses. Pretty. This one kind of has a stripe right here. I could, you know, I could give her a couple more stripes just to go along with what I've already got. Just touching here and there. Gonna redo their faces just a little bit. Okay. And I think again I'll take the white which has just a tiny bit of pink in it and just go right around. Like I said, I'm working fast. That's what I love about these is that you just end up with a very abstract, fun, fun shapes. Um, she could just have 
one on there and one on going down there. You know, I can add a few more lines here if I see that something's missing. And then just activate. If I think like her arm's too big, I can carve that back out. It's fun just touching them here and there and just seeing what you get. Um, her arm's missing right there, but just very quickly. Okay, I like that. And this last one here, let's see. I think I'll, um, I think I'll circle that blue and leave that. Well, I love the pink back there. I might add some more of this pink in here. Right around that blue, make this one colorful. Get some white and add it here and there just to knock all that back. I might just leave those lines. I don't know what they are, but knock some of that bright pink back. Put her a little face in. I think I'm going to take a little bit of black. Sometimes I like to just add braids. Fix her arms a little bit. So Yeah, I'm just, I just mixed some pink and white, and I'll throw some more of that back here. Around the moon. I like that. I'm going to take a little bit of the light pink and put in her face. Yeah, that's pretty. I think I'll take some of that and knock that line out. Knock some of these lines in her dress out. And I think I'll take some of the... It's just... Like I said, I'm quickly just right off the top of my head, just picking out. Go, just touch into her dress with that green. And now, what do we have going on down here? I like the orange. Let's just try some of the. I like these orange stripes. I think I'll just go with that. Do a layer of that right over the green. Yeah, that makes her dress stand out more. Some kind of a... Whatever they are. Like I said, it's just playing with color and just using what I've got. And just touching here and there. Deciding what to leave, deciding what to knock out. But they are super fun and yeah i like the way they turned out and again we started with um instead of scribbles we started with actual shapes and i used um some different tools i don't think i ever end up using the scraper but that that would be fun um it's not really doing anything right this minute because everything dries so quick but that would be a fun one to use. But we did use the skewer, the bamboo, and a little bit of the brayer. So just trying to come up with different tools to make different marks. And um, yeah, I think these are really pretty. I love doing the figures and just deciding quickly what it needs, not um, thinking about it too much. And um, yeah, that was fun. So thank you for watching.